Good morning. All right, I'm back going. Maybe I'll be good this go round. Good morning. Looks like it's working this go round. Oh, that's pretty right here now. <laughs> Thank you for that. Little gold mine. Yes. What going on from Louisiana? So I was checking my camera last night. I, you know, I put batteries in my camera. And, um, uh, it went off last night and there was a fox on it. And there was a black cat. Yeah, I still have some. Good to see y'all this morning. I don't even know why I'm yawning. I slept like a lot. Like I ain't even mess around. I ate supper and got shower and like I went to sleep. What's going on? Hey, Mark. Good to see you too, bro. Y'all come on in. I had to end my video, delete it, and restart. So if you're wondering why I ain't got kicked off and couldn't find it, that's because welcome to Apple. Come on down. Yes. I know that's right, Brian. Yeah. High pollen alert has been issued. Well, thank you for that. Hey, Grandma's wonderful. Yeah, tell me about it. So, so yeah, welcome to the world of let's restart because, hey, that's what you have to do. So, uh, so Dawn said she's feeling better. Um, that's good. That's good. I hope, I hope your grandbaby's doing good too. Boy, I, I had a tough go at that sickness stuff. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Thank you. 
Don't tell me I got it set on that high number again. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> so, uh, how big is the fence-in area? It is... Three hundred and hold on a minute. They're right at six hundred feet of fence because, um. Yeah, because, yeah, it's a pretty big area. Like, like 600 feet around is pretty big. Uh, but but I'm going to finish the fence. Today, I already done went to town and bought the fence. I got it on the truck out there to finish. Um, you know, they don't sell 30 feet, so I <laughs> have to buy a whole row. That's winning. But uh, I got that. And um, I'll be finishing that today. I'm going to have some coffee right this minute, though. That's a lot of fence. And um, I had deer. Uh, I had deer. It was a five by eight. So I had deer... Um, Coming up to the fence, looking at it. <laughs> Foxes. Cats. I had a lot, had a lot of going on. You know? A lot going on around them fences. Let me get my tweezers. Man, that treated wood, it'll leave a red mark. It's like an eagle when it takes fly. Love you even more. Tell you what. Especially with it being treated. And there's another one. You get them so easy.
they would come out naturally. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know if I want to wait till a treated piece of bark comes out naturally. Well, if I was going to make tweezers, I would make some tweezers. Um, that would come to a point like a, like a needle. Um, like if I was, but if you got to pluck your eyebrows, you know, you're in luck. This is prime plucking your eyebrow. Uh, but you know, it don't do well for crap at getting something out. I can see it, but tweezers just won't get it. There, I got it. I reckon I'm good now. Oh. Good morning. I'm just having my coffee. And my joy. Peaceful. Let it snow. Ho, ho. Merry, bright. Peace, Christmas. Sometimes it's, it it be like that. Good morning. It's snowing here. I heard that. Woo. <laughs> You know, I don't know if my second notification went out because I ended my live like I did. I don't know if, if a second notification even went out to everybody. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Mm hmm You don't think it did? Probably didn't. Probably didn't. It's heavy snow. I heard that. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> did you see my text about post offense? I did not. I had a pretty... I had a pretty hectic day yesterday. You know, worked on the fence and... Then, um, like when I ended my video, I still wasn't done. <laughs> so, uh, I 
I had to go to town and like, man, it's just like, ooh, you can be running and running and running. Show sure can. Dang it, I gotta get gas for the buggy. <sighs> Mm. Yeah. Hey, thank you for sharing the live, Leanne. Thank you. I issued you all this week at my appointment every day. Let's see. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Muffins for breakfast. Oh, in love on a cattle drive. Say what you So today's Thursday. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe that, like, concert is the more. You know, it's hard to believe it just comes around like it does. <laughs> hmm. I got y'all up close and personal. I just didn't feel like getting the tripods. I was like. I ain't doing it. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Good morning. Good morning. You got that right. Yeah, you have missed a little bit, ain't you? <laughs> Good morning. Um, um, almost got the fence done. I, I had to go buy another roll of fence. Gonna put it up. Um... You're right about that. Let me tell. Let me cool hand Luke's out here. Let me tell him something real right quick.
<laughs> okay. Sorry, y'all. I had to leave a second. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't hear this computer running when I left. That was cool hand Luke. He called into the radio station. And I heard it come on the radio. So the topic was Cash App, and the and he called the radio station. I heard it just then, and it was like, "What's the reason for Cash App?" And he said, "Uh, they want something for nothing." And he's like, "My Cash App is Country Boy Nine One One Hashtag Get a Life." <laughs> he said that on the radio. And he also said he had a dude message him, wanted him to cash app him, and he said he threw up a little bit. And they played that on the radio. <laughs> What's going on? Like, that does work pretty good for my youngins because, like, you know, they they and I were away uh, working and doing schooling. So it does work pretty good when they call and they need something. I can just send it. So so it is pretty good when you can just send something um, instantly. But it's never for feet pictures. It's like, I ain't gonna pass on that. That's how I send my boys money. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it works pretty good that way. I used to have some employees that I paid. Uh, you wore your jacket to work today? All right, all right. So uh, I used to pay my employees with that roofing, and like that was easy. They they uh, it's kind of aggravating. Um, like on payday, and everybody's got to like come and meet up, and like they can't come but halfway. They can only meet you at the X sun. So like. So, some like it and some don't. I love it. <laughs> so mama got a, I'm not, I'm not sure if y'all seen it, but she got an official NFL Chiefs jacket. Blooming Center one. And she wore it today. She told me that, uh, she said, I might have to keep it in my locker when I don't have it on because somebody would take that jacket. Yeah. Yeah, Super Bowl jacket. Oh, they seen it last night? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm trying to get my coffee working. So... So, like, I'm in the store buying the wire, you know. 
And I guess the employees seen me because they got mad. Me and Bentley was trying to pick the roll of wire up, put it in the buggy. First of all, because, you know, the manager of the store, you know, they don't think, hey, let's get a flat buggy for people that's buying fence. They got grocery shop buggies. I'm like, well, that's winning. Well, there's the first what I would change if I was store manager. But anyway, um, I was trying to put that roll of wire in that shopping cart like you go to the grocery store in. And this is the thing. Like, Bentley was trying to help me. And that stuff will hurt you. Well, we got it picked up and set it on the front of the buggy and the buggy run away with us and it fell. And I like, I was okay, but I was worried about Bentley. I didn't want it falling on him. When it, when it, well, like, we didn't get hurt. He had his boots on and I got mad. And I think the people in the store seen me. Because I bent down there and grabbed it. Like it was a piece of wood. I just grabbed it around it and stood up with it. And like I went over that buggy and I just like DDT'd it in the buggy. Like I think it bowed the wheels. But like I was trying to do it easy and like when it about hurt us, then I got, then I got mad, and then I was like, "Let me just go ahead and now we're having a contest." So like I grabbed it up and and like chunked it in the buggy, and then when I when I paid for it, that woman's like, "Do you need any help loading that up?" Bentley was like, "No, nah, my dad just totally put it in the buggy out there a while ago." One other girl was like, look at them muscles. He don't need any help. I'm like, oh, my God. Ben was like, Dad, did you hear her? I said, yes, I heard her, son. I was trying to be easy. Uh, I was trying to be easy with the wire, but like, hey, that stuff, you, you just got to just handle it. I mean, I put it on my shoulder. I felt like it tore the hide off when I put it up there. When you got it, you got it. <laughs> I reckon. Let me get me some more coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Mm-mm-mm. Well, good deal. Good deal. Hey, Michelle, like, uh, it was all women, folks. Like, nothing against women, but um, that, that wire, that roll of wire is rough. Melissa B. I sure don't. I called one and he never, he came. He just never showed back up. Oh, I remember another thing that got mad. It made me mad. When that wire fell, you know, I was grabbing inside the fence. Where when the wire fell and it hit in the corner of it hit the ground. I think it was this one. But my finger was in the wire. So it like. It bent my finger either up or down. Not, not like this. It bent it this way in there. That's like what made me mad. My husband is an electrician. We're in northeastern Georgia. Wow, I heard that. That's nice. Uh, I had another guy to call. To, um, a lady gave me the number to her brother a brother-in-law, I hadn't called him. I don't know why I hadn't called him, but I haven't. I ain't got my angel on. I sure don't, do I? Well, I, to be honest, I was—I didn't think I was going to be in here very long. I was just going to drink a cup of coffee and uh, <clears throat> I was just going to drink a cup of coffee and uh, be out the door. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, thank you. Hey, I'm doing good. I'm good. Praise report for Jesus. He's incredible. Again, I had the last of the cancer taken off my back. She said she got it all. I'm good to go. I had so much anxiety over them. Thanks, everyone, for the prayers. Wow. Wow. You tasty looking mojo. <laughs> well, thank you. That was sweet of you to say. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> that is the praise report. Yeah, we always glad to hear that. You're probably the hardest worker I've ever seen. I am amazed by your abilities. Well, thank you. You know, I, I you know, I had to. Uh, yeah, I need to get more creamer. You know, I had to. I had to do my fence. It had got to be a priority. You know, my mama was right. I don't. I don't have my priorities in order. And to be perfectly honest, I I thought I was doing just fine. But, uh, yeah, like, that's why nobody's perfect. Uh, I never said I was perfect. I never tried to be perfect. I always just be me. But I got my priorities in order. Uh, I cleaned up Grandma's lot. Like, I had no idea it was a problem. But now that it's clean, I can see. Where it was a problem, but I had no idea. And I got the chickens moved so they don't aggravate mom and daddy no more. That also was a problem that I didn't realize. So I'm glad to get my priorities in order. So as soon as I get this fence up and my babies are safe, uh, and I can let them out, let them run around over there in the pen, Maybe I can get back to the house and I can start, uh, <laughs> start back on the electrical side. But like you, you just, you know, I don't know. I just didn't ever think about it. I never knew uh, you are mighty near perfect. Well, I try, I try not to let nobody down. Uh, I try not to let anybody down. I never want to disappoint anybody, and I would help anybody. Um, you don't even have to be mean about it. All you have to do is just say it. Uh, yeah, you know, like. I would do anything for anybody that, like I could, you know, in reason. I mean, I wouldn't like giving my brand new shotgun or nothing like that, but, you know, I do my best. <laughs> All right, Mama, have a good day. You're a sincere person, I believe. Good morals and values. Well, thank you, Crystal. I try, I strive really hard not to let my parents down and my friends and uh, my youngins. You know, like, I want them to know they can count on me. Hey. Showtime. Let's see what my battery's on. 72%. I need y'all. I'm telling you, I got aggravated. I'm tired of these. I'm tired of like these things having to charge being an issue. They only last two hours out there recording in the woods. And they they like done. So, so I like got aggravated. I got on, you know, the order stove, and I, and I ordered some, 
Prime. Uh, I ordered some big double humped battery packs. Did it said it'll charge your phone like three times? So, yeah. That's happening. Ready? Alright. Little coup. Don't have a small generator or something like that. Uh no, we got a yeah. We got a a big generator, but it's loud, you know. Thank you, Miss Whistler. Thank you. She sent us a Oh, look at the slim jam. I need a mocha chocolate cappuccino with extra whipped cream. I heard that. Just yeah, I ordered two. I ordered two big chargers. Uh, this is my problem. Like I got chargers. I got a solar powered Praetorian charger. It works great, but uh, and I and I got another battery pack. It works good. The only thing is this is the C uh this is the C P U output. So it's got the little it's got the little old bitty thing. It don't have the USB in. It's got the U it's got the C P P U or whatever. Tiny. Uh, so them battery packs, the Patreon and my other one won't work like they fine if you want to take your laptop out there and charge it, but so I, I made sure I bought uh them big double hump battery packs with that kind of uh yeah, get a solar powered battery bank. Yeah, like I'm on iPhone and iPad. Oh, no, I just ordered some good ones because it's $170. Like, I picked one that was five stars. Like, done been tested, tried, and approved. Yeah. So they had some that looked just like it for $35. I was like, yeah, I promise you. I don't know what's the deal with that, but it ain't the same thing. Because the $35 one didn't have no... Uh, I am cheap too. <laughs> yeah, I, I am too. Like I wear second hand clothes, but then like yet again when it comes to fishing, go buy a brand new bait caster. See, my priorities is in order. Priority. Priorities. D. You gotta say priorities. <laughs> D. Where it matters is where it matters. You can skimp on your drawers, you can't skimp on your toys. There you go. That's what I'm telling you. Y'all might have to get you there and back, but the mercury will get you there faster. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm telling you. And if you got an Evan Ruder Johnson, you always got a boat anchor. You can't buy second-hand fishing gear. Heck, you say. I mean... My old boy going through a divorce. She's selling all his nice stuff. She don't even like know what she's selling. She does. It's the spite of it. No, I mean, no, but she don't realize like that $300 bait cash is $300. Yeah. She wants $30 for it. What I'm trying to tell you. Like she don't know what she's got. She's no, just she like, does. I want to. She's seen the credit card bill. She, <laughs> it's pure spite. <laughs> I tell you what, I don't advise anybody to be selling my fishing stuff. They having an auction tomorrow. I'm not playing. Selling off some of these guns, boats, fishing equipment. I don't know if he died or that much child support and alimony. Maybe a cane pole. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a cane pole. What's the matter? Busters. You can rip a lip. Oh, you remember those brim busters that, like, Take three days to get up a little mm. bait fish. They were nice. 
Well, what it is, I'm waiting on my tablet to charge where we can go. When I started, it was on six, 16 percent. Hey, look, I reckon I need to go. Um, this is Coffee with Steven. I appreciate you watching. I got to finish this cup right here, but uh, we got to go out and put gas in the Ranger. We got to get the fence put on the Ranger. I'm going to go back live on Stephen Hodges, and uh, we're going to finish that fence, and we're going to let the animals out. Then we might wear the hook. Y'all, y'all a mess. Can we wear the hook? We need to wear the hook. I don't ask much. Just keep swimming. Hey, uh, hey, I love y'all. Thank you for the super chats, the thumbs ups. I'll see y'all in just a few minutes uh, on Stephen Hodges, and we'll go finish this fence and set them free. All right? Love y'all.